Hi everybody, I wanted to look at Psalm 91 today with you. Psalm 91 is referenced a lot of times um, and, and given to Christians a, a lot of times in times of trouble. But I think our, the message of Psalm 91 is often misunderstood. Um, the actual message of the psalm is that we are to dwell in God every day, not just in times of trouble. A lot of people believe that this psalm are promises of God for everyone, and I don't want you to be deceived because that is not the case. It is conditional, and it says if you dwell in Him, if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, um, then these promises apply to you. It is not for all believers. It is not for those who are casual or worship from afar. And I know that's hard to hear, but it's honest because the actual message of this psalm is that God is asking us to dwell in Him, and that's not a casual casual thing. It's, um, it's not intermittent. Um, it's actually very intimate and very constant. And so when God asks us to dwell in Him, He means some specific things. Dwelling means to live in or sit in a specified place. It also means to um, talk about or write about at length uh, on a certain subject. It can also mean that you gaze with your eyes um, or linger your eyes on a specific object or subject. The, the point of that is, and all of those definitions, the one common thread, is that dwelling means that you're living in, you're abiding in, you're focusing on. And when we make God our central focus, uh, we're dwelling in Him. It's that closeness of relationship that God is looking for. And if you do that, that's the conditional phrase, if you do that, then there's some amazing promises that God makes to you. Verse 3, He will save you from Satan and the contagion of sin. In verse 4, he will cover you like the cherubim's wings cover the Ark of the Covenant and the mercy seat. His faithfulness will be your protection. Uh, he'll be that protective barrier for you. In verses 5 through 6, he will keep you from being afraid with wisdom. He will also keep you from being unduly afraid with faith. Um, God's will uh, is perfect and it is for our good. So when his will is done, that's, that's the perfect will. So we shouldn't be afraid. In verses 7 through 8, he will punish the wicked because while he is a God of promise, he is also a God of justice and righteousness um, and punishment. Um, we have to have that balance. We can't just have all the warm fuzzies of God or the, the harshness of God. We have to have a God that's in balance because he is a, a balanced God. In verses um, 11 through 13, he will guard you with angels that will lift you up. And if you read the Geneva Bible with the Geneva notes, in the notes it, it even says that God doesn't just appoint one angel over you. He appoints many. Um, so you have, if you, are in, if you abide in him and you are dwelling in him, you have a whole host of angels that are with you and guarding you and lifting you up. And 14 through 16, it says, Because of your love and acknowledgement of God as the Lord of your life, that he will rescue and protect you. He will hear you and answer you. He will be with you in trouble, deliver you and honor you, and he will satisfy you with a long life. Um, I think contentment is one thing that a lot of people struggle with in our day and age. And I will, from my personal experience, the times that I have been most joyful and most content is when I am resting and abiding in God. The question becomes, um, in order to receive these wonderful, beautiful, amazing promises of God, how do we dwell in him? And the answer is, is that we dwell in him through our faith with Jesus Christ, our intercessor. Do you want to read one little thing of scripture to you? Where Jesus in uh, John 15, verse 9 through 10 says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. So as we worship, as we pray, as we read and meditate on God's word, as we act in obedience, we are dwelling in God. And then we have the hope of those wonderful and amazing promises of Psalm 91. During this time, I pray for everyone out there that's watching this video, um, that God cover you with his wings and is, that he is your shelter and refuge, that you turn to him during this time. Deepen your relationship with him, lean into him, and he will protect you. He will be your rampart. He will be your shield. And uh, God's mercy, love, and blessings to everybody. Amen.